Hello, I had a request to do a video walkthrough of my library. I have uh, two bookshelves here and uh, another one in the other room, so maybe I'll just do a quick visual of what I have and give you a rundown. So I have all these little ones up here. Uh, you can see Augustine collection. The top shelf doesn't support the big books. Um, you have some small books by Bart. There's uh, homiletics, how I've changed. Uh, looks like combination commentary, baptism, teaching of the church, come Holy Spirit. Uh, some conservative reform guys. There's Burkhoff. I got some letters by Bart, grave and gray. Um, let's see here, evangelical theology. Um, a word in this world, two sermons that was talked about online recently. Some Raymond Brown books, one of the Catholic guys you'll see, and you got some uh, Hoover, and you got Boltman, uh, Primitive Christianity right here. I like that guy. Reform, uh, Reform Pastor by Baxter, C.K. Barrett. Uh, the next shelf you got Ethics by Bart. A lot of Bart books. This one has uh, some selections of the dogmatics. Letters to Boltmann. Um, Bart's book on Anselm. Call for God. Also sermons. Insights. Uh, back here you have Delivers the Captives. Another book on Bart's preaching. An old copy of the dogmatics. Uh, volume and election. See what else have I got down here? Polkos, um, some FS Bruce. I used to read him a long time ago. I don't really read him too much anymore. Um, looks like Gagan Dogmatics first volume, Word of God, Word of Man. Uh, his uh, Bart's history book, Church and State. Schleimacher, uh, Final Testimonies, Bart's Book on Prayer, his letters, it's a really good one. And Man of Revolt, there's some my Bruner books, there's his Dogmatics there, Dozen's Progress, here's Bart's Book on Calvin, and Table Talk. Lots of good stuff. Down here are the uh, biography of Bush, of Bart, some Marcus Borg, we got Credo, Resurrection and Dead, Faith of the Church. Uh, this is a pretty handy little book uh, on Bart. Actually got that from Travis McMeekin. Shout out to you there. Uh, some Airman books. You can see the alphabet kind of goes through here. It might speed up a little bit. Here's uh, Dominic Crossan. I got a bunch of his books. I was in a historical Jesus phase. Oscar Coleman. Several books on him. Peter. And a bunch of Don Carson books. I used to be in him for a while too. James Cohn, got a couple up there. Verse of Faith. Um, here's a history book, Cross. John Cobb, got a few of his books as well. There's a biography on Calvin. Oliver Crisp, with several of his books. Uh, and then some of my collection of C.H. Dodd. There's his history in the gospel. And then Dimitri uh, Stamaloa, I got a lot of. Eastern Orthodox guys kind of got into them over the last couple of years. Uh, had some dialogue with this guy over emails. Uh, pretty interesting stuff. So, got the big condom, style book, John Cobb, a bunch of Jonathan Edwards. I was really into him for a little while. Freedom of the Will. Um, not so much these days, but still interesting. Here's a Edmondson's book on Calvin. There's a lot of books on Calvin, his thought, how to interpret him. Peter Enns, John Frame, they have a few of his books. Gonzalez's History. There's a uh, Galwitzer, read his book. I got some Stanley Grant's books, Reason for Hope, up here. <laughs> uh, Welcome to Not Affirming, Primer on Postmodernity, Creative Community. Uh, Grant's was a disciple or student of the Pannenberg, so I kind of got into him. Face to face, you might recognize 
Marty. What else do we got down here? We got Hans Kuhn. I've got a lot of Hans Kuhn books actually. Oops. There's uh, guys, we've got a couple different memoirs. And there's uh, Tim Keller also. He's got some apologetic work. And then Abraham Kuyper, Encyclopedia Christian Sacred Theology. That one's pretty good. John Ladd, a little bit of Lewis. I actually had a lot more Lewis on another bookshelf, but I took him out to make room. Uh, Paul Lehman. Um, there's some Martin Luther books. Um, Richard Hayes, Moral Vision. And then down here, uh, I got one of the Bowers. I think this is the second edition. Lexicon. And then Alistair McGrath, like his writing on uh, evolution and science, but got a lot of his books as well. Bruce McCormick, um, Metzger. There's a couple more McCormick books down here, Metzger books. Um, and then some biblical dictionaries, Catechism, Catholic Church. And down here's a bunch of Bibles. Um, Mostly study Bibles. I got the Septuagint here. Um, and uh, Greek New Testaments. A few different ones there. More Bibles. A couple more lexicons. And other Greek Bibles in here. Book of Common Prayer. Um, some other study Bibles. Here's Parallels by the seminar guys. Here's the Curtain Land. Uh, synopsis, pretty good if you're looking for a, a parallel of the Gospels. A couple other parallels, some of them are just the Greek words, some of them are English translations. Uh, New Testament Apocrypha, there's another catechism, Josephus, Dead Sea Scrolls, uh, Denzinger, right there, he's pretty good. Another lexicon. Um, Apostolic Fathers, and Nacomandy. Uh, Pseudepigrapha, there's a two volume set, that's a pretty good one. And then there's the other part of the uh, New Testament, Apocrypha. I've got a little bit of books on evolution, um, Jesus book by Sean Beek, or however you say his name. Um, more Luther books, Martin Lloyd-Jones, Mark Lacona, controversial resurrection book. There's a Pannenberg book on the Creed. These will be another shelf. Uh, John T. McNeil like his stuff a lot. This, that was actually a pretty good history of Calvin, Calvinism. Um, some books on the Puritan. Perry Miller, he was the one who kind of sparked interest in Jonathan Edwards. Uh, Marsden, I like him. Uh, got most of his books, um, especially his writings on the history of American religion, fundamentalism, forming fundamentalism, religion in America. Um, very good stuff. And then here's an interesting book on Presbyterian history. He's got a biography and Jonathan Edwards is pretty good. I read that one. Um, a little more McGrath. He had a history of Christology and his intro books to theology. And then um, Primer on Biblical Greek. Here's a Schofield reference Bible. That one's kind of fun. Got some older books up on the top. That's just for nostalgia. Michael Horton got a ton of his books. He was actually pretty helpful in making reform sound more rational, reasonable. Horton, Horton, um, George Hunzinger here, and uh, here's another Hayes book, Richard Hayes. And people I've had to read because other people like them. There's one more Lewis there. Uh, James Gordon. Probably not someone you want to buy. Um, Luke Timothy Johnson. Here's another Catholic guy I like. Uh, Gary Mayas. I actually like his stuff quite a bit. His New Testament theology, book on parables, Eucharistic words of Jesus. Um, and then he also had a couple writings on uh, infant baptism in a debate with Colonel Land that he did that I read that really helpful as a Presbyterian. I, I got uh, Heschel. Uh, 
Moltmann talked about him a bunch. And here's another Hunzinger book on scripture. Uh, here's a book on Lola. And then there's Jungle in there. And Hans Kuhn again, his history, the short history of the church. And then his big book on Islam, and then another part of his memoirs. Book on the church, eternal life. It actually looks like I got two of those. Christianity and being a Christian. Um, up here I have some more of my C.H. Dodd books. It's kind of hard to read, but Politics and Government, Gospel and Law, New Testament Theology, <clears throat> uh, New Testament Studies, Israel, Fourth Gospel. I have um, Pseudo Dionysius from Kevin DeYoung, James, Jimmy Dunn. Um, he goes along with my Richard Dawkins stuff. Uh, University, Unity and Diversity is a pretty good one by him. Okay, his big book on Paul. Uh, let see here. We got the Blum Hearts. You like some good Universal. Uh, John Boswell, a couple of his books. And pause. And then you got Pope Benny here. More Borg books. His stuff's not too bad. C.K. Barrett, Brueggemann. Uh, R.E. Brown. I actually like Raymond E. Brown's stuff a lot. This is a pretty good one. Question and answers in the Bible. I got James Barr. Uh, Death of Messiah and Birth of Messiah. Great ones by Brown also. Jesus, God, and Man also. Uh, a bunch of Bonhoeffer books. Got Bonhoeffer's big biography. Uh, Burkauer. There's the two Burkauers. The scholar and then the reformed one. And then Burkauer over here. Uh, I got most of his reform dogmatics, really good ones. He's got a good one on, on, on Bart. It's kind of hard to read that. Find from Grace. And he's got one in Scripture that's really good too. And then also up here I have uh, Chesterton. Here's a couple more Dodd books. Uh, Authority of the Bible. Uh, two large Chardon. Let's see, Letters of Calvin, some Chadwick, Historian, more Dodd, Bible for Today, Parables of Jesus, Meaning of Paul for Today, lots of Dodd books. And then, Gordon Fee, here's some really old Bibles, too, I really enjoy. I've got a Moffat Bible here, um, read that one. And then, Book of Common Worship, and my, I've got a really old Bible from my 1800s, which is kind of cool. And then also up here I have uh, Chesterton. Here's a couple more Dodd books, uh, Authority of the Bible, uh, Two Large Chardon. Let's see, Letters of Calvin, some Chadwick, Historian, more Dodd, Bible for Today, Parables of Jesus, Meaning of Paul for Today, lots of Dodd books. And then, Gordon Fee, here's some really old Bibles, too, I really enjoy. I've got a Moffat Bible here. Um, read that one. And then, Book of Common Worship, and my, I've got a really old Bible from my 1800s, which is kind of cool. Okay, skipping to the other bookshelf, i uh, got some commentary someone, a friend gave me on the Old Testament. And some on the news, well, I got Michael Horton, Kierkegaard, Kuiper, um, all good stuff. And then getting down here, I have my, my Moltmann books. I'm um, getting some overflow now. Theology for Today, Way of Jesus Christ, Son of God, Rise, all very good ones. Uh, got some younger creationist books, um, which are kind of interesting. Haven't read those in a decade. John Murray, John Meats, Langton, Miller Hayes, um, Josh McDonald's is one of the first books I bought, so it's mostly nostalgic. I used to have a bunch of Piper and Driscoll books in my bookshelf. They're all boxed up upstairs, so I'm still pulling things out. Here's a book against uh, dispensationalism. Uh, here's a book on Kuiper biography by Moo. Miglior, he's a pretty good guy. And then getting into my Moltmann books here. Uh, Crucified God, Broad Place, History, China, and 
Church and the Power of Spirit. Um, fundamentalism is an incremental challenge. God, His and Hers, Passion, Secular Society. Following Jesus Christ in today's world. Training Kingdom, a lot. I'll, you can kind of see. Uh, there's more on the other shelf. I'll show those on the way back. Here's a picture of Madonna I painted. Icon. Um, let's see here. So I got Rush Dooney. That's just mostly to scare people. And this is getting into my Pannenberg books here. Jesus, God, and Man, Church, Ethics. His big anthropology book is a small one. Um, there's some more orthodox books here. Uh, Planaga. Pelican's History, and there's an intro to Kierkegaard up there. Ram, read Authority of Scripture is pretty interesting. Then getting into my Calvin, or um, Karl Rahner books. I got a whole bunch over there. You'll see those. Uh, down here I have Niebuhr, Niebuhr uh, Luther's Commentary, and Romans. A bunch of Albert Schweitzer books back there. Uh, and then uh, Schaefer. I like Schweitzer a lot, actually. Um, this mysticism of Paul, the Apostle, is actually really good. The title's kind of misleading, but it's his book on Paul. Um, Strauss. Life of Jesus, Critically Examined. That one was a beast to read. Read that one on the plane to India. There's R.C. Sproul, um, some old apologetic, apologetics books. This one here is a friend of mine. And down here we have a Wolf's book on Islam. Down here we have Von Rad and Wolf, more books on Wolf. Witherington. Whitehead, um, John Webster, and I have a whole bunch of books by N.T. Wright. This one is signed, I think. Too wide. I guess I'm in the fan club. Uh, we got some reformed systematic theologies down here. Um, we got Calvin's Institute. We got the Raymond systematic. We got Grand systematic. Uh, I got Jensen systematic. Stan Loni systematic. That was just recently published. I have um, the 1535 version of the Institutes. I've um, Alistair McGrath's three volume book on scientific theology. Some selections of Calvin's commentary. I got a Michael Horton's systematic theology. I think this one's signed also. Two lies. But Michael Horton. Put that guy back up here. And then down here, Raymond Brown's intro to the New Testament. I have the four volume Bavinck and three volume Pannenberg and three volume Turretin systematics. And then this HEP, Reform Dogmatics. This one was really important for Bart. And then there's Boltmann's Theology of the New Testament down here. And then at the top, we got more Moltmann books, uh, Creating a Just Future, Jesus for Today, a bunch of Nib Niebuhr books, Pascal, um, more Call Runner, Spurgeon, believe it or not, I do have some Baptists in here. There's Timothy Ware, Nevin, Wendell. Those are good books on um, Calvin. I also have, here's a Warfield book, Plan of Salvation. Uh, more Moltmann, Hope and Planning, Future Creation. And then there's a whole bunch of his back here as well, along with Elizabeth Wendell Moltmann. Theology Hope, there's a McMakin and Congdon book. I got a lot of his stuff. And Knoll, I actually collect quite a bit of Knoll. 
Uh, Mark A. Knoll is a historian of American religion like Marston. It's been pretty useful. Martin Noth, he's got a couple books I picked up because Bart referenced him a lot. And there's another book on Calvin. This one's kind of famous, nice one. And Sniper. And then down here I have all my Ronner books. I got maybe about 15 of the theological investigations involved here. I got a Sanders book on Paul, E.B. Sanders here, which is good, and Shaman. Got a couple of his. Here's another Albert Schweitzer book. Quest, uh, Philosophy, Civilization, Spong. Uh, this, this one's pretty good. History, Authority, and Inspiration of the Bible by Jack Rogers and Don McKim. And then I got Streeters, Studying the Origins of the Bible. This is a pretty famous book that kind of led into the, all the studies about Q, the synoptic problem. And then I got uh, Schleiermacher, the speeches, and his life of Jesus, intro to ethics. Down here, I have Paul Tillich. I have his systematic theology here somewhere. Uh, I've got another book on, well, well here's another show. So the back and let's see who else is interesting here. Uh, there's another piece of Turretin, uh, Gunkel's Genesis, Luther's commentary on Genesis. There's my Torrance books. Uh, there's Calvin's Doctrine of Man, Theology and Reconstruction, Incarnation, up here is the Atonement, Space and Time, What Christ Comes Again. And then Van Hooser, a couple of his, and then No Thy Enemy. There's a few books by him who shall not be named. And then this is getting down into a mixture of systematic theology and commentaries. My big Moo commentary, a bunch of Warfield books. And there's part of the Tillich's systematic theology, N.T. Wright. Again, there's a Zwingli. I have a few of his books, Warfield and Evolution, uh, Warfield and Calvin, and Augustine, and N.T. Wright again, and then a few more um, books by Warfield down here at the bottom, such as the Inerrancy book there, the Pig, Pig Beast. And then down here I have um, N.T. Wright's commentary on Romans, and... I think Don Carson's commentary and Matthew and then various other commentaries like in Mark. Got Walkie's on Genesis, Carson's on John. Gordon Fee, he's a rare example of a Pentecostal guy in my library. Um, and then just some other various commentaries. There's C.K. Barrett. It's kind of hard to read. On um, Gospel of John. That's a good one. And then down here, there's uh, Bruner's Systematic Theology, his Dogmatic, three volumes, and Charles Hodge, and John Frame, I have his Systematic Theology, um, George Ladd, <clears throat> a little bit of Aquinas, and here's uh, Schleiermacher's Christian Faith, Glauben Schleier, the beast of a book. I read that one, and here's a... Uh, Lewis Burkhoff's Systematic Theology, and there's more Tillich. There's the other part of Tillich, Systematic Theology, and John Frame. Okay, so I'll switch to the last bookshelf. Here is my last bookshelf. You can kind of see it's more set-oriented, so maybe I'll go a little bit faster on it up here. Uh, up on the left, you have Calvin's Letters. There's actually five volumes. That's the blue one. And then uh, Church Dogmatics, the first half of it, and the Theological Dictionary of New Testament Words. Uh, I got a couple books stuck left over. The Moltmann book and Burkhoff, uh biography of John Knox. And then over here I have a book at Church Order for PCA, and the other part of the Dogmatics. And then down here, I have a set of John Owen books. 
they're all stacked here as I'm working on my floor. It's like, I think, 16 volumes of John Owen. I haven't read any of them yet, though. Maybe I've read his books, but none of this set. Treasure of David, got a nice set of Augustine writings, it's abridged. And then the complete works of Benjamin Warfield. And then over here, I've got Karnak's History of Dogma. I've got a set of Luther. Um, and then I have these uh, Nicene and Anti-Nicene history books. You can read those online, but I have the complete set of all three. There's three volumes of them. And then down here in the bottom, I have the Summa Theologica, Summa Contra Gentiles by Thomas, and we have the the Keel commentary in the Old Testament set. There's the other part of that Shaft series. I have History of the Church Dogma by Shaft as well. That's what these guys are. And then down here I have uh, Calvin's commentaries and the rest of of the Summa Contra Gentiles. So I have a bunch of other books somewhere, but that's my library.